Chapter 1, The Role of Nutrition in Our Health Understanding Nutrients A nutrient is a substance that provides nourishment essential for growth and the maintenance of life. Nutrients required in relatively large amounts are known as macronutrients, and nutrients that are needed in smaller amounts are known as micronutrients. Some nutrients are made within the body naturally, while others are not. The nutrients that the body cannot make up on its own, in adequate amounts, must be obtained through your diet, and those are called essential nutrients. Types of essential nutrients include carbohydrates, which are the primary source of fuel for the body, especially the brain. There are three main types of carbohydrates, sugars, starches, and fiber. Fats and oils are also an important energy source for our bodies at rest during low-intensity exercise. This group of compounds is more commonly referred to as lipids. Proteins are complex molecules that play a role in almost every aspect of your body, such as the building of cells, maintaining bones, and repairing damage, just to name a few. Vitamins are organic molecules, meaning they contain both carbon and hydrogen. While they play an important role in regulating body processes, they do not supply energy to our bodies. Minerals are inorganic elements, present in soil and water, which are absorbed by plants or consumed by animals. There are a range of minerals, including trace minerals needed by the body in very small amounts. Energy from nutrients. In regards to food, the unit used to measure its energy content is known as the calorie. A calorie is the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Celsius. However, the calories used in reference to food are known as kilocalories, which are 1,000 calories. Here are some examples of nutrients and the calories that they provide per gram. Understanding Nutrient Needs To help us achieve a healthy and balanced diet, various dietary guidelines have been developed. One of these is the Dietary Reference Intakes, or DRIs. We will explore the concept and importance of DRIs. DRIs provide recommendation for the intake of essential nutrients and macronutrients. They are made up of four components. First is the recommended dietary allowance, or RDA. This is the amount of a nutrient that is sufficient to meet the daily requirements of most healthy individuals in a specific age and gender group. Second is adequate intake, or AI. This is the recommended daily intake level for a nutrient when there's not enough scientific evidence to establish an RDA. Third is the tolerable upper intake level, or UL. This is the highest level of a nutrient that can be safely consumed without the risk of adverse health effects. And finally is the estimated average requirement, or EAR. This is the average daily intake level of a nutrient that is estimated to meet the requirements of half of the healthy individuals in a specific age and gender group. The scientific method. The scientific method is a systematic approach to investigating phenomena in the natural world. It involves a series of steps that scientists use to collect and analyze data, test hypotheses, and draw conclusions. The first step is to make an observation. The second step is to form a hypothesis, which is a tentative explanation for the observation. The third step is to design and carry out an experiment to test the hypothesis. And the fourth is to analyze the data and draw conclusions. There are important items to consider when it comes to scientific research. First, let's start with the concept of a placebo. A placebo, or sugar pill as it's sometimes called, is a substance or treatment that has no therapeutic effect, but is given to participants in a study to test the effectiveness of an active treatment. A control group is a group of participants in a study who do not receive the treatment being tested. The purpose of the control group is to provide a baseline against which the effectiveness of the treatment can be compared. Meanwhile, the experimental group does receive the treatment. By comparing the outcomes of the two groups, researchers can determine if the new drug is truly effective. A double-blind study is a type of study where neither the participants nor the researchers know which group the participants belong to. Participants are randomly assigned to either the control group or the experimental group. Trustworthy Nutrition Experts a nutritionist is a professional who has completed a degree in nutrition science and is often involved in research, consulting, or public health. Medical doctors are trained in medicine and may specialize in areas like nutrition, 
or preventative medicine. Licensed dietitians are professionals who have completed an accredited dietetics program, passed a national exam, and met state licensing requirements. Finally, registered dietitians are licensed dietitians who have also completed a certain level of education and training. Alcohol. Alcohol is a volatile liquid that is produced by the fermentation of sugars. When consumed, alcohol is absorbed into the bloodstream and can affect multiple organs. Let's define some of the terms that are helpful to understand regarding alcohol. First is proof. This is a measure of the alcohol content in a beverage. It is defined as twice the percentage of alcohol by volume. A drink is a standard unit of measurement for alcoholic beverages. In the United States, a standard drink contains about 14 grams of pure alcohol, which is equivalent to about 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, or 1.5 ounces of distilled spirits. Moderate alcohol consumption is up to one drink per day for women and up to two drinks per day per men. Binge drinking is the consumption of five or more drinks per occasion. There are some benefits to moderate alcohol consumption, such as reduced risk of heart disease, as it helps to improve the HDL levels, or the good cholesterol, and sometimes a positive effect on mental health, as it may help to lower the risk of depression and anxiety. However, there are also disadvantages to moderate alcohol consumption, including that excessive consumption can lead to liver damage, high blood pressure, and an increased risk of breast and colon cancers. Due to its depressive effects, alcohol can impair judgment, coordination, and reaction time. This can increase the risk of accidents, injuries, and even death. And also, excessive consumption can lead to alcoholism, which can have serious long-term health and social consequences.